and good afternoon. Uh, welcome to St. Paul Capital Kuba. Uh, this is the church located at uh, Chai Road or uh, Juja Road Estate. With me uh, this afternoon, uh, I think they'll give their names. Let's start from my left. Uh, my name is Andrew Ambetsa. And uh, this is Reverend Paul. It is nice to have you. And I am Anthony Mungai. Jesus is the Lord of my heart. I'm going to request the Reverend Paul to start with a word of prayer. Shall we pray? We give you thanks and praise, God our Father, that it has pleased you to bring us together today with our families and our loved ones in our different homes. As we think about this season, as we think about your love, as we think about whatever is happening in the world today, still holding our fast, uh, our faith firm and steadfast in you. The Lord, indeed, there is nothing that is impossible. We pray for a good time. We pray for a time of calmness and quiet and peace for our loved ones and our members back at home, even as they watch this broadcast for the sake of the praise of your name. Be with us and lead us through Christ the Lord we pray and believe. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, this is also a great moment to discuss about Easter. I know we are at home. I know we are restricted. We can't go out. We can't come to church and hear the sermon as we are used to. But um, here with my friends, uh, Andrew and Reverend Paul, we are going to discuss more about Easter. We are going to get de into details and know what happened during this period. And uh, Reverend Paul is here to expound more on, on that. And uh, it's going to be a great moment. Feel free also, uh, you can um, send your questions to send the Pony Cup and we can answer them. You can also send your needs. We can pray for you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. May God bless you. Mm -hmm. And I want to hand over straight to my uh, left, that is Andrew. Mm -hmm. Andrew, do you have something to say? Yeah. Uh, speaking about uh, Easter, but before we go there, um, uh, Mr. Mungai has mentioned that uh, Reverend Paul is going to, I don't know whether it is expand or expand. I was afraid you were going to, <laughs> to fill this whole place. <laughs> so he's going to expound more on in the scripture, basing our, our, our discussion today on, uh, on Luke 22, about the story of uh, Good Friday, the crucifixion, resurrection, all that. And maybe just to ask you a question, which I imagine, it's, uh, what, what exactly was happening in this time? Uh, what is the background of, 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 of Good Friday? Where, where, where is the setting? What is happening with these people? In this season, what what kind of thing was happening? Because there, there was almost like a festivity uh, during that time, and people were in a festive mood. Could you probably just give us an, an idea of what was happening at that time? Okay, thank you very much, Andrew. Um, the the setting of the, the this portion of scripture uh, in uh, the land of Palestine, where Israel was at that time, and uh, during that time they were under the leadership. Mm -hmm. uh, of uh, of Rome, and the Romans were people who loved indulging. Mm -hmm. They had many gods, and so they held a lot of uh, festivals and parties mm -hmm. uh, for each god. And so they were people who loved many. They loved life a lot. Uh, the Jews, on the other hand, they were called, and they were positioned to serve the one true God, that is Yahweh. And uh, in the course of them doing that, they come into contact with this, you know, area, these uh, leaders, these people that, uh, you know, uh, have many gods, uh, mm -hmm. love a very uh, merry life, and you know, love being happy all the time. But also at the same time, uh, they are violent people. Mm -hmm. And uh, so in Israel, because there were feasts during particular times, there was mm -hmm. the Passover, and it would come at a particular time and the Jews would uh, celebrate that feast, mm -hmm. um, reminding themselves and remembering what the Lord had done uh, for them. So at this time, uh, Jesus had just, um, during what we celebrate in Palm Sunday, he had just entered Jerusalem uh, triumphantly, mm -hmm. and you know, prophetically coming in, mm -hmm. as it is prophetically written of him that, uh, see, O Zion, your king comes to you, riding on a cot, there is a donkey, and so they had celebrated the coming 
of Jesus because mm-hmm. they looked at it prophetically uh, as it was spoken mm-hmm. and he comes indeed riding on a cloud and you know he goes to the temple and the next day um, because it is evening then he goes back mm-hmm. and then uh, on Monday uh, he comes back in again and then mm-hmm. you get the story of the fig tree mm-hmm. that was cast mm-hmm. and uh, now you know they came and found it was dry and Peter was wondering I mean, what, what is happening mm-hmm. and so these are events that were leading to what God had determined mm-hmm. earlier Mm-hmm. that the Messiah, that is the Christ, that is the mm-hmm. Son of God, mm-hmm. will come and he will die mm-hmm. uh, for our sins mm-hmm. under the hands of, of the people. So that is the kind of mood that was there uh, during this time. So on this particular uh, uh, day, mm-hmm. um, on a Friday, which we now call Good Friday, mm-hmm. the previous Thursday, Jesus Christ institutes uh, the Eucharist. Uh, he shares, he breaks bread, with the disciples. Eucharist. <laughs> Break it down. What do you mean? <laughs> yes, so that uh, uh, people like uh, yeah. like us can understand exactly what is this. Yeah. Yes. What, what is it? In fact, yes. uh, it's good you mentioned that. Yes. What, what is that? Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, um, uh, the Eucharist is uh, the Lord's table. In other words, it's the Lord's table. Uh-huh. It is the supper, the agape feast, mm-hmm. uh, when Jesus now uh, gathers the twelve disciples mm-hmm. and uh, he breaks bread with them mm-hmm. and uh, he institutes the Holy Communion. Mm-hmm. Do this as often as mm-hmm. you drink it, mm-hmm. remember it mm-hmm. with me. Mm-hmm. And he washed their feet mm-hmm. uh, as a reminder of them mm-hmm. to serve one another. Mm-hmm. That, God, that, that, that Christ has called them not to be masters mm-hmm. but to be servants. Mm-hmm. And to serve his people. Mm-hmm. So on this particular Friday, uh, Jesus Christ uh, has been arrested. So he washed their feet on a Thursday night, yes. On Thursday night. Yes. Now this is on Friday, yes, where they are having uh, supper. Pick it up from there. No, they're having the supper on the Thursday. And the, it's also on Thursday. Yes, on Thursday. Ah, night. Okay, 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 okay. So after, after supper, then he washes their feet. Mm-hmm. And then as he goes out, mm-hmm. Uh, he is arrested mm-hmm. by the Romans. That's on Thursday. Yes. Mm-hmm. So uh, the whole night uh, he goes through torture. Mm-hmm. The whole night. And then on the Friday now, mm-hmm. uh, it's now when uh, they take him to Pilate and then they take him to Atene. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, interesting. There are people whom you mentioned. There's Pilate, mm-hmm. there's Herod, and there's the chief priest. Yeah. Uh, I only hear the Skedo Kitaja Pontio Pilate. Is, is, is that his name? Is it a title? For Pontius Pilate? And, the, and also this Herod. We hear Herod when Jesus is born. We hear Herod when Jesus is being tried. We hear Herod during the time of Peter and the, and, 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 and the Apostles in the book of Acts. Why do you hear that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And exactly how do they relate here when it comes to the time of trying Jesus? Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, let, let me just pull it a little back. Mm-hmm. Um, way back in the Old Testament, mm-hmm. uh, nations were fighting, and then when, the, when a nation becomes stronger, it will conquer another nation. Mm-hmm. So it, when it conquers this nation, then it puts its own systems and rules. Mm-hmm. So at times they will not really take, necessarily take them, because at times it's very difficult to you know, if you are Kenya and you fight against the whole Africa, you cannot bring everybody to fit in Kenya. Mm-hmm. So you just institute your rule wherever they are. Mm-hmm. So it started with Assyria, and Assyria was defeated by Babylon. Mm-hmm. And then Babylon was defeated by Persia. Mm-hmm. And then uh, the Romans came and defeated the Persians. Mm-hmm. And so uh, the area in Israel was under Roman rule. Mm-hmm. So the Romans were in, in rule because they expect compliance. Mm-hmm. They expect that uh, you need to pay tax mm-hmm. to them. Mm-hmm. So they would institute their own mm-hmm. people to lead. Oh, they the people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so how <laughs> uh, 
uh, ndi walikuwa na trust kuweka hapo mm-hmm. yeah so pilate was uh, leading he was the leader in jerusalem mm-hmm. he was the one who was taking care of the business of the romans mm-hmm. in jerusalem who well, was a roman for that matter mm-hmm. um not necessarily a roman mm-hmm. what they would do they would look for people who are uh, either sympathizers mm-hmm. or people who would um follow mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um that you know wale abao no ni kikohoa unaitika hao mm-hmm. yes mm-hmm. those people Mm-hmm. So they would look for people and place them there. Mm-hmm. So they were not necessarily Romans. Mm-hmm. Uh, most of the time they were um, Idumeans. Mm-hmm. Idumeans are not very much uh, uh, pronounced mm-hmm. because we see the Edomites and we see the Samaritans. Mm-hmm. So uh, the Idumeans were also um, in that area. Is it a tribe or is it? Yes, mm-hmm. it's, it's a tribe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and and so uh, they would even get people. Uh, the Romans mm-hmm. uh, from the Edomians and place them uh-huh. in positions of power. So they were not necessarily people who came from Rome. Yes. All the way to Israel. Exactly. They would pick people from uh, the same region. Yes. Who are sympathizers or collaborators with the Roman government. Exactly. Ah, okay. Yeah. That is interesting. Mm-hmm. So pilot, pilot is that as 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 Mungai has rightly put it. Who was above him? Because we see Pilate sending Jesus back to Herod, Herod sending him back to Pilate. Pilate. Yes. Yeah. That, that, that game of, of ping pong. Mm. And this Herod, the birth of Jesus, Jesus' trial, after Jesus has resurrected, we are still seeing him in the picture. Who, who is Herod? Um, now, uh, you see a lot of Herods. And some of some of you have read about some people you didn't know they were heralds mm-hmm. there. So in the New Testament, we are the New Testament mentions about six heralds. Mm-hmm. So the first so herald, not one person, not one person. Uh-huh. No. So the first That's one, interesting, yes, yes, uh, is Herod the Great, mm-hmm. and uh, he's well known mm-hmm. because uh, he helps with a lot of businesses in the temple, and uh, he is given authority by the Romans. Because now he's like a Roman prefect, mm-hmm. he's taking care of the Roman business uh, in uh, in Judea, um, in, in Samaria, in Idumea. Mm-hmm. So he's given authority to rule that that place. And so, because uh, still leadership is a hereditary, um, he has three sons that mm-hmm. uh, inherit portions of the places where he used to mm-hmm. uh, to be the the ruler after his death. After his death. Mm-hmm. And so uh, the first one is called um, Herod Achilaus. A R C H Achilaus. Yes. One year ago, I was so So this uh, this Herod Achilaus mm-hmm. is um, is one of mm-hmm. the Herods. Mm-hmm. Now he also inherits. He inherits a bigger portion mm-hmm. of the father's mm-hmm. uh, kingdom. And uh, mm-hmm. kingdom, yeah. And then. We have Herod Antipas. Mm. So Herod Antipas mm-hmm. is the one that now uh, beheads John, mm-hmm. uh, the Baptist. Uh-huh. Uh, he is the one that steals. He's the guy who married his uh, brother's wife. He stole her. He stole her. Yeah, okay, yes. not married. He yeah. stole her. He stole the brother's wife. wife. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Herod, yes. Well, what is interesting is okay, yes. when he took his brother's wife. What yes. happened to his brother? Because. I don't see how you take someone's wife and you stay with them and I know you have taken my wife. What happened when he took, is it recorded anywhere in the books of history, he took his brother's wife? What did his brother do? Well, the interesting thing is that his brother did, brother did nothing. Mm. Because um, in this kind of setting, these family settings, you know, there are fields and uh, of course there is the alpha mm. brother. Mm-hmm. This one is, is bigger than you and probably stronger than you. And there is nothing much you can do. Mm-hmm. Yes. Because of power. Because of power. All right. Yes. So he kept quiet. So he kept quiet. So this is the Antipas. This is the guy who so kills that is uh, Herod Antipas. Antipas. The and then he is the same Herod that Jesus is taken to. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yes. That is Herod Antipas. Uh-huh. Then the, the third brother, mm-hmm. the third of their brothers, these are the sons of Herod the Great, mm-hmm. is uh, Philip. Mm-hmm. And of course, uh, so who's who wife? His wife? So it is Philip's wife oh, that was taken, mm-hmm. yes, by mm-hmm. his brother Antipas. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, if you remember, if you read the scripture, you, there's a region called Philippi. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. That is named after after this hero mm-hmm. figure. Mm-hmm. Yes. Interesting. Interesting. Yes. So, so that so that is the third hero, uh-huh, uh-huh. and then uh, that is the fourth hero now. Mm-hmm. Philip. Mm-hmm. And then there is Agrippa, mm-hmm. the first mm-hmm. King Agrippa. Yes, he's Herod mm-hmm. Agrippa, mm-hmm. the first. Mm-hmm. Uh, of course, in Acts, he's called King Agrippa. Mm-hmm. So that is Herod now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, he is now uh, the grandson mm-hmm. of um, the Great. Herod. Yes, Herod the Great. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then, so so that is that is that is Agrippa. He's the one who was uh, who was eaten by the worms and all that. Yes, and the story we get. And... So he's the one that is eaten by worms. Right. Yeah, when he claims to be God. The right. people worship him and he does not give glory to God. Mm. So he is eaten by worms while still alive while still speaking. Mm. So that is Agrippa the first. Mm. And then the sixth one is Agrippa the second. Mm-hmm. So this Agrippa the second is the one that Paul talks about. Mm-hmm. When Paul is talking about oh, King Agrippa, when he is taken to trial. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. So that is the Agrippa now. Mm-hmm. So that is the Herod's, that is Herod's family. Mm-hmm. And uh, the interesting thing is that you know it is a very it is a very chaotic family. You know, some somebody steals a brother's wife, mm-hmm. and then uh, another one you know marries, um, you know the the niece. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it is it is a family that is full of you know mm-hmm. it is weird. It is, it is it is it is chaotic. And this is where Jesus is taken. So um, Jesus now is no, taken to, to such a family. That's what I'm asking. Yes. To such a family. Yes. And they are expected to try Jesus. They expect to try Jesus and give a just, mm. a honest and a righteous mm-hmm. uh, rule. So you can imagine. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. It is like they and say. A corrupt leader being taken to to make a, a yes. good ruling. Mm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that 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 is now um, about them. So um, Pilate, you remember. Uh, we come to that, but now when the when the, when the when the high priests and the Sanhedrin they tell him now if you do not if you let him go you are not afraid of you are not afraid of Herod mm-hmm. and so he is afraid of Herod because Herod is the you know the big Kahuna is the chief of that area mm-hmm. so I want I want to have a good PR with my boss so mm-hmm. I'm I better mm-hmm. yes all right mm-hmm. so now now uh, Pilate. Yeah. Is Pilate a name of someone? Is it a title? What is it about Pontius Pilate? Yes. Um, it's, it's his title because he, he was appointed mm-hmm. to oversee uh, Jerusalem. The way you know you have, yes, you have the president, but then you have a county commissioner mm-hmm. for Nairobi. Mm-hmm. So he was looking at the affairs of uh, the city of mm-hmm. Jerusalem. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Pontius Pilate is the title given to that person who yes. in charge. Yeah. Now, the chief priest. Mm-hmm. Is there a difference between a chief priest and the high priest? Mm-hmm. Or what, what is happening? The, it is one thing. Mm-hmm. It's a chief priest or high priest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the title is used uh, interchangeably. Mm-hmm. And so at this time, it is very interesting because this time there were two. We had two high priests. Mm-hmm. We had Caiaphas mm-hmm. and we had Annas. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're getting that in the Bible. We're getting that. I think Matthew records that. Yes. Matthew how, records the two. How does that work out? Mm. And how did it happen? And who was this chief priest that is being talked about? Talked about? There is Annas and yes. there is Caiaphas. Yeah. Who was above the other? Were they the same level? Because the priestly order there was there should be a one high priest. But here they seem to. Was there also a power game or was it? Who who gave one authority and gave the other one? What happened? At this point, uh, the Romans were their rule was very deep mm-hmm. because if, if you look at the Jews, they were religious people. Mm-hmm. In as much as they had kings, the voice of the prophets and the priests was very, uh, very strong. Mm-hmm. And so, because their life now surrounded the temple, mm-hmm. so there was one high priest who was chosen, and he would lead, and then after his death. They will choose another high priest. But at this point, the Romans have deeply infiltrated their religious life mm-hmm. such that now um, uh, Aaron would choose one of them and make them high priest. Mm-hmm. So these two people find themselves in the same office. But of course, um, Annas was a bit older and Caiaphas was, was, was doing most, most of the work. So he, w- he was appointed by, one of them was appointed by Herod. Yes. It was not the priestly succession. It was not the priestly An appointment. Succession. 
it was an appointment. Is there an idea who was the one who was appointed? Or... Um, with the Romans, things take very different turns because you'll find at some point the Romans would uh, give support to Annas. At another point, they would give more support to uh, Caiaphas. Uh -huh. But Caiaphas had uh, a lot of you know, um, say and a lot of voice. He was, he was very popular. Mm -hmm. uh, and he also tried to play a very good game mm -hmm. with the Romans so that he stays in power. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pro probably our brother Mulai could speak about from that point onwards. Jesus no, has been. Raised. No, actually, it, we, 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 we stopped at the time when they had the, the supper, yeah. so called the Last Supper. Well, I thought maybe you could give us a little more detail about. Uh, details about what is the, the why is it called the last supper why do we call it the last supper you told us it's on thursday yes. that's when they're having so, so what happens after that if you tell us maybe what's the last supper and then what happens after that now the bible records that um uh, jesus knowing that you know his time was near so um as he approaches uh his time they get a room miraculously and it is prepared for them him and uh, his disciples, and he sits with them. And as he has, uh, he breaks bread with them, and you know, uh, they have this, this supper. Mm -hmm. uh, at that point, then you hear Jesus saying that, you know, one of you is going to mm -hmm. betray me. Mm -hmm. And they are confused because they have been with Jesus for three years, and you know, everybody's asking, Is it me, Lord? Is it me, Lord? And, uh, <laughs> you can imagine the kind of you know, situation yeah. when we are 12 and one of us. So everybody is asking, Well, it's is me. It, me? It, or, it be me, yeah. And of course, you know, I, maybe I'm suspecting, maybe it's Andrew. The way yeah. Andrew you know, has been looking at Jesus these few days. Yeah. <laughs> Should be him. So you can imagine the kind of environment at that point. Uh -huh. But um, of course, we know that it's Judas. Mm -hmm. And at that point, Jesus, after supper, he washes their feet. And uh, you know, he reminds them that he has called them to serve one another. And then after that, you know, they go out to the garden to pray. And uh, Judas, because the devil tells us that the devil had entered him, he is also called the son of perdition. So he, he goes and he betrays, um, he sells Jesus out to uh, the son Henry. While you're on that story of Judas, now, yes. uh, Jesus washes the disciples' feet. Yes. Uh, so the, and, and he says that have I, not, have I not washed all of you but there is one who is not clean yeah. did he also wash Judas feet Amma, what happened in the, uh, Judas alitoka ali kabula washo migu ama aliyosho migu na toka oh he was washed on he never got clean eh, na aliyo ama aliyosho na haku panguzi na dawe <laughs> <laughs> what happened <laughs> yeah <laughs> Well, um, what, is, what is recorded about the washing of feet more profoundly is Peter. Mm -hmm. Because Peter is very cautious. It is like a legalist. Mm -hmm. You say, no, you can wash, you know, you know, you cannot wash my hand. You know, you are higher than me, mm -hmm. you know. Is it sanitized? No? Yes. Is it sanitized? So Peter is the one who is consuming mm -hmm. all of that. Mm -hmm. So Judas is not mentioned, but I, I, I think that um, he was also washed mm -hmm. because jesus did not um take it personal or want to revenge and say that uh, you know i will not wash mm -hmm. the feet of his mm -hmm. but but another another uh, is it is it Luke or john who tells us that um when he had taken that piece of bread that jesus had given him mm -hmm. then he walked out sure yeah so I, I would also suspect that probably he walked out before the washing of the feet yes mm -hmm. yeah. Good, right? He, they, 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 so they are at the garden. Yes. Then they, they, what are they doing at the garden? Uh, they are praying. Jesus has a tendency of, of, of secluding himself, mm. and, uh, and and uh, probably with you know the three uh, James, John, and, and Peter, mm. and at times the whole you know uh, disciples, mm. and he would seclude himself and go and pray. Mm. So as they were going to pray, mm. or as they were praying, mm. now because Judas knew mm -hmm. the plan mm -hmm. because Jesus had an itinerary. Mm -hmm. Judas knew that to get a hapa, we get a kukula, then a maombi. Yeah. Yes. Yes. After, after we have, we don't just pray before we eat. After we eat, we must go and pray. Mm -hmm. So he knew the itinerary, and so he decided a to go place. a specific place. A kind of kasema, they will be meeting in a particular place. Mm -hmm. So go there and arrest him. And, and of course, because it was night, 
-hmm. And it was not the people who are very familiar mm -hmm. that were arresting Jesus. It was the, the guards. Mm -hmm. You see, if it was the, the priests and the Pharisees and the, and the Sadducees, they knew him. Mm -hmm. So Jesus tells them, the one that, Judas tells them that you know, the one that I will kiss, mm -hmm. that is the one you should arrest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he goes and he kisses Jesus. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the soldiers know, oh, <laughs> so that is the one. The same way, probably, if I want to tell people uh, to stone somebody and they don't know who Andrew is, mm -hmm. I will come here and I will say, the one that I will give a hug, mm -hmm. that is Andrew. So I will come here and I will go tell Mr. Mongai. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to Andrew, I will give him a hug. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so they will know definitely. This is, Andrew, the this is the guy that we are. Mm -hmm. this so so that, that, that is what was that is what happened now. This is uh, at, at that point. So could that be the reason why Paul and Peter are asking us to greet each other with a with a holy kiss rather than uh, this kind yes, of a betrayal kind of kiss. kiss? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> maybe the witch, maybe yeah. Peter witness the reason. Maybe he's asking. <laughs> yeah. Be careful the kind of kiss that you are getting. <laughs> So greet each other with that. The holy kiss. <laughs> going, going deeper to that, eh? what hour is this uh, that, that um, uh, Jesus is being arrested? So probably this is uh, after supper. It's definitely at night. Mm. I would probably say around 11 there, going to midnight. Mm. Yeah, because they've already had the supper. Now they are you know, um, walking out. They are they're praying in the garden. Could there be a reason why they are doing this at night? Why the Jesus was all around mm -hmm. the whole day he was going to the temple. Actually, he tells them, I have been to the temple, I have to be everywhere, I have been to the society. Why, 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 why wouldn't they arrest him uh, uh, during the daytime? Um, number one, they were not very sure about the people. Mm -hmm. Because you realize that where Jesus went, you know, people went mm -hmm. together with him. Mm -hmm. you know, they, they, they thronged him. Mm -hmm. So they were not sure whether they had the support of the people. Mm -hmm. So probably they were scared that if we are arresting during the day, mm -hmm. people are watching, we could, be, we could end up in trouble. Mm -hmm. Number two, we don't want a problem mm -hmm. with the, you know, um, the Roman government. Mm -hmm. uh, we could arrest him, mm -hmm. and then it's daytime, we have a lot of witnesses, mm -hmm. we end up in trouble. Mm -hmm. Because, of course, there were people who did not like the Roman rule. Mm -hmm. So um, they saw Jesus as the one who is coming to deliver them from the Roman rule. Mm -hmm. So if you arrest him, mm. you are arresting the person that is supposed to come and help us. And help us, mm. lead us out of this kind of bondage. Yes. 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 Oh, so they right. have to, to take the guys mm. of the night. Mm. Yeah. So he is arrested. Yes. What happens? Where is he taken? So when he's arrested, the first place he's taken, he's taken to the house of the high priest. Mm. Yes. He's taken to the uh, uh, the, the big guy priest. now. The big guy now. Mm. That is why he's taken and he spends the night. Is it his Caracas or his Anas? Uh, Ubi Karafas, because he's the one who has a lot of uh, say there, but he's taken there and the whole Sanhedrin is there. What, what is, can, 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 uh, can you let us know what's this you're calling Sanhedrin? Oh, the, the Sanhedrin is like a, a parliament, but now instead of MPs, mm. it had the, the Pharisees mm. and the Sadducees. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yes, my pastors. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You, you, you're taking us deeper even to other, other <laughs> technologies that we may not be very sure. Now, what are these Pharisees and what are these uh, Sadducees? They are saying they make the, the, the Sanhedrin. Yes. Yeah. So the Pharisees and the Sadducees, they were priests. Mm. All of them were priests. Mm -hmm. But now, the thing that differentiated them, the, the Sadducees were more legalists. Yeah. They were, they were lawyers, of course. Um, mostly. And the law you're speaking about is the, 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 the laws of the Mosaic law. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are laws. Mm -hmm. the, the Pharisees, um, also, the, 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 also the, the, the other difference is that uh, the, the Pharisees, is it the Pharisees that believed in the resurrection, mm -hmm. the Sadducees did. So, those are the, 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 the little minor, small differences. Minor, minor yeah, kind of because we have um, others believing in angels, mm -hmm. others don't believe in angels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Others believe in, uh, you know, the resurrection and eternal life. Others don't believe in that. <coughs> so they were they were uh, cut mm -hmm. uh, between those lines. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mkama, but their function was the same. Kieleweke na tanga tanga. Kitu kama hiyo. Oh, oh. That's, that's being more political. <laughs> <laughs> let's, come, <laughs> let's come back to this. And there he is. He is at the house of um, uh, the, the the chief priest or the yes. high priest. 
and the, this the, the, so what happens there? So uh, the night he is uh, basically tortured at night. Mm. Um, the soldiers are there, some of them striking him, and blindfolding him, and then striking him, asking him to guess who has mm. Mm. who has struck him. Mm. So uh, they could not do anything much because they didn't have authority. Mm -hmm. they, it, was, it was a Roman, oh, it was a Roman, a Roman yeah. uh, affair. Yeah. So if they had anything, if they wanted anything to be done, mm -hmm. had to be done mm -hmm. by the Romans, mm -hmm. or else they had to get permission mm -hmm. from the Romans to do it. Mm -hmm. So after that, then uh, when it comes to morning now, mm -hmm. when it's morning, mm -hmm. now they decide to take him to Pilate because Pilate is the official mm -hmm. in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. There he goes. Yes. To pilot, yeah. yeah. And uh, this is the pilot. Uh, you, this is the same guy you said uh, that uh, is is a kind of a, a royalist to the Romans. Yes. What happens there? So when he's taken to pilot, uh, the accusations that you know are brought for are very heavy accusations mm -hmm. because the accusations that would require capital punishment mm -hmm. that is death, mm -hmm. uh, death in the Roman style. Mm -hmm. So. Um, Pilate was not very sure what to do because he was not sure if I crucify him. Now, what will the Roman uh, official, what will, what will the herald say? Mm -hmm. Is it too much power that I'm using? Mm -hmm. And of course, you know the way they say that, you know, a, a death sentence cannot just be issued by anyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so um, Pilate, you know, looks at the story and considers, and he's not, he's not satisfied that uh, this man has done a mistake mm -hmm. because right. even the witnesses mm -hmm. even the witnesses bring differing accounts mm -hmm. and so uh, he decides to send him now to to the big kahuna himself mm -hmm. to herald mm -hmm. yeah the, the guy who was so, so you're saying yes. that uh, in terms of hierarchy that region herald was yes was bigger than Pilate. yeah and so he sent to herald what happens yes. next? And, and so when he is sent to herald now herald uh, interviews him because herald is a um, He's, he's excited to hear about this story because he has heard about this man. Mm -hmm. You remember, he's the same herald that John the Baptist, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, told him off mm -hmm. for taking his brother's mm -hmm. wife. Mm -hmm. And so he's interested. So this Jesus that, you know, uh, John... And it's a cousin to John, actually. Yes. <laughs> yes, yeah. And I've heard a lot about him. So he's, he's, he's like, for example, you get a renowned prophet mm -hmm. brought to you mm -hmm. so that you may condemn him. But before you know, you have a lot of questions that you need answered. Because possibly you've never had a sitting with this person. You want to understand them. You want to just maybe to, like nowadays, maybe to have a selfie together with them. So you're taking your time. Mm. Yeah. So that is what Herod was doing. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, Herod's wife has a dream. We give that account in the Bible. Mm. That, 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 you know, um, he is warned. That Herod was pilot. Uh, that, that, that should be Herod. The pilot's wife. Pilot's wife. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pilot's wife. Mm -hmm. So uh, now, now he's taken to Herod, and, and Herod, Herod has because he has the power mm -hmm. to either release Jesus mm -hmm. or condemn him, mm -hmm. because of course, definitely he's the one who is um, he's the big kahuna there. Mm -hmm. So he he has the right to uh, give uh, either capital punishment of death mm -hmm. or to release Jesus. Mm -hmm. And he makes this clear because he tells Jesus that I have power to do this. And Jesus tells him that you will have none of it. So he was not bragging. He actually, if he said it, they would yes. kill him. Yes. Ah. Yeah. Okay. So, um, but then he also looks at the mood of the people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You see, um, he has another boss in Rome mm -hmm. that, uh, of course, he needs still to report to. Mm -hmm. And this is a high profile case. It's mm -hmm. not just a. You see at Mutua Miba Kuku, this is a high profile case. Mm. So he does not want an uprising. Mm. So he also reads the mood of the people. Of the people. Mm. And he looks at the leaders of the people, mm -hmm. the, the Sanhedrin, the high priest, and you know, all of them are shouting, crucify him. And so he now plays a political game mm -hmm. of being safe. So he decides, what do I do? Mm. If his own people are saying, crucify him. Mm. Then off with that. So he, 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 would it be safe to assume that he was sending him back to Pi, to Pilate so that if anything happens, he will be fine. He will be, he's the one who ordered him to be to be killed. So is it like they were trying to pass the back from me? Let me send this to you. 
And you see the most interesting thing here, mm -hmm. it is Passover. Mm -hmm. and, and according to the Jews, mm -hmm. you know, they looked at the Gentiles as unclean. Mm -hmm. And so they would not enter mm -hmm. the house of a Gentile mm -hmm. during the, the day of Passover. Mm -hmm. And uh, so... <laughs> Pilate is a Gentile. Pilate is a Gentile. And so they cannot go in with him. That's mm -hmm. why... You know, they, they, it's recorded Jesus and Pilate. Mm -hmm. these, these people, because they look at, at Pilate as a heathen, uh -huh. so they cannot have fellowship with him. Mm -hmm. They cannot come in. Mm -hmm. But you see, the, the, the contrast is, they're willing to kill an innocent person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, They will not enter mm -hmm. a heathen's house, mm -hmm. but they will kill an innocent person. In spite of all this. In spite of all this. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. So Pilate orders, the, orders Jesus to be crucified. I guess there is a place though that uh, they requested Barabbas to be released, yes. and uh, then um, um, he's now ready to be crucified. Yeah. I, I think Andrew. Uh, um, what, what do you think, Andrew? Mm -hmm. mm. Now the crucifixion of Jesus. Uh, first, there is a there is a debate about uh, whether the instrument of crucifixion, was it, a, they say, a cast is anyone who is hung on a pole, hung on a tree, is it the actual plus sign, the cross, two wooden pieces, or is it a pole that, uh, that he carried, is there anything specific that talks about it, there's no doubt about, yes, the crucifixion was there, but is there anywhere that explains what kind of instrument they, they, they did that? Yeah, uh, the Romans were very cruel. Mm -hmm. And when they would bring punishment, and so actually they would crucify people and line them up on the road leading towards the city. Mm -hmm. So that Ujue, Ukicheza na Serekali, Ya Waroma, you'll end up here, Mahali mm -hmm. Huyu So people were scared of them because they wanted to control the people through that cruelty. Mm -hmm. And so um, he is hung on a cross. And the reason that happens. It was a, a symbol of torture, that before you die, you would have gone through a lot mm -hmm. of pain. Mm -hmm. Actually, number one, you would have bled out. Mm -hmm. You would have lost a lot of blood because they would uh, virtually, you know, uh, hammer nails mm -hmm. through your hands, to hold your hand to the, um, to the wood, mm -hmm. and then tie it. And then they would again uh, hammer this other uh, hand, they would hammer nail through it. Mm -hmm. and tie it. So um, your lower body will be down and you'll be struggling. That means it puts your chest in a very uh, weird place. You struggle to breathe. Mm -hmm. And, and, and uh, of course you've seen what, whatever we're going through the coronavirus, you, you realize that you know ventilators are a big thing mm -hmm. and then they help you breathe. Mm -hmm. and, and when you cannot breathe very well, it is very torturous. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's almost would... like someone is drowning. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. So that was their intended end goal. Mm -hmm. to, to make it very painful for you so that even before you die you will have gone through a lot of pain. Mm -hmm. So um, the, 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 the cross again uh, was an emblem of um, shame. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was an emblem of shame because they were not crucify you with your clothes. Mm -hmm. Probably modestly enough they would you know, just leave a, a piece of, of linen around your waist to cover your legs, yes. Mm -hmm. But but it was shameful. So Jesus was stripped naked completely. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course you remember uh, his, his 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 robe is taken from him mm -hmm. and the um, the soldiers they cast lots for it. Yeah. So it was a, an emblem of shame. It was actually a curse mm -hmm. to hang on a tree. It, it, it represented a curse. Anybody that would hang on a tree, whether um, whether uh, suicide or whether you are hanged mm -hmm. on there, mm -hmm. it was it was a curse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So anybody that would also crucify, because of course the a tree in a way because this wood. So anybody that was crucified would be looked at as somebody that is cursed. Mm -hmm. So so the the, the, the Sanhedrin you mentioned the, yes. the Jewish leaders. They knew that it was a curse for anyone to be hung on a tree. Yes. Why would they condone such kind of a punishment? And what was the reaction of the people when people were put on a cross, so to speak? Because they knew this is like, it's, it's a curse. 
what what was the what was the feeling and the reaction of the people when people that was done, especially in this case, Jesus is being hung on a cross? Well, um, they were filled with fear because they asked, "Is it me next?" Mm -hmm. Because the Romans would do that specifically because if they wanted to kill, they just kill you, nobody would know. Mm -hmm. But they would do that specifically so that anybody that looks at you is afraid because mm -hmm. during those times there were uprisings. Mm -hmm. People were not happy with the Roman rule. Mm -hmm. And they would form bands and gangs mm -hmm. and attack, you know, um, some Romans and mm -hmm. some of the Roman soldiers. Mm -hmm. So um, the Romans did that to, to bring fear into anybody that would think of either joining mm -hmm. or condoning an uprising. Mm -hmm. The Pharisees, uh, the Sanhedrin, Pharisees and Sadducees and the high priest, they could not say anything much because, number one, they were under the rule of the Romans. Mm -hmm. And then number two, they were afraid to lose their power. Because if, if I disagree with you, mm -hmm. then you and you have the authority to read to rid me of my power, mm -hmm. then definitely I'm going to lose that power. So mm -hmm. they didn't want to lose their power mm -hmm. and their position. And they also looked at it as a way and as a means of, you know, um Kicheza mm -hmm. I know people who can crucify you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he, he know people he was a Jews. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so right. as, a, as, a, as an instrument of exactly what you say, mm -hmm. control. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, so Jesus is crucified. Yes, and uh, he spends there quite some time. Yeah. There are some things that happen during the period that he's on the cross. There's darkness for several hours. There's uh, the, the, the conversation between him and uh, other people who are crucified. But then, okay, what, what surprises me is, how, how, how does Jesus die so quickly? Quicker than these other fellows. Because the others, they were not dead by the time they wanted to pull the bodies from, from the cross. What, what, what made Jesus, was he weak that he dies so fast? Now, uh, number one, he has gone through a lot of torture. Remember, he was arrested at the night. Mm -hmm. He spends a whole night in the cold. Mm -hmm. He is tortured. Mm -hmm. uh, he's marched from you know the the, the house of uh, mm -hmm. uh, the high priest to Pilate and then uh, to Herod and then back. So he's gone through a lot. Mm -hmm. But that not uh, sufficing. Uh, during during Passover, they did want the bodies to remain there because uh, they 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 want a name for themselves. So they don't want the bodies to remain hung on a cross. It's Passover. Mm -hmm. So we, we, need, we need some peace of mind. Mm -hmm. I also need my conscience a bit clear. Uh, because I don't want it haunting me that you know, I put somebody mm -hmm. there. And, and so um, he's, um, if you read the psalm, is it psalm that says that none of his bones is broken? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because what happened when they, the soldiers had to come, mm -hmm. and so if they found out that somebody is not there, they will break your legs mm -hmm. so that uh, you, can't you can't escape. And even if your people come to get you out of there, you are in a terrible state. Mm -hmm. Imagine you have lost blood, you know, you're exhausted, your legs are broken. Mm -hmm. You are you are good for nothing. Mm -hmm. You are cabbage passing. Mm -hmm. So uh, this was happening not not just because Jesus was tired of anything. But also to fulfill scripture, mm -hmm. where God says mm -hmm. uh, in some that none of his bones is broken. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when this pole broke uh, in the, the legs of the individuals on the cross, yeah. they would pull them down from the cross and put them in tombs or what would they do? Normally, um, the Jews were allowed to bury mm -hmm. their, their dead. According to their customs. According mm -hmm. to their customs. Mm -hmm. So most of them would, would not make it, they would die even before the evening is there. Mm -hmm. But then the, then the Jews will be allowed to go and... and How out. long are they on the, on the cross? Well, um, according to uh, the Gospels, Jesus on the cross at around midday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, at two, three. Of course, at around three, he yeah. gives up mm -hmm. his ghost. Mm -hmm. And then at around probably heading to six, mm -hmm. late evening, uh, now his body is taken. Joseph for him at their requests. Mm -hmm. uh, for his body, and he is given, mm -hmm. and he goes and buries Jesus. Mm -hmm. Six hours. <coughs> yes, six hours of the cross. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he is now taken down from the cross, and uh, there is Joseph of Arimathea, and there is Nicodemus who came to ask yes. for his body to go and, and bury him. Yeah. 
Now, there are some women who follow. Was it allowed for women to go and bury uh, people? And, and was there any special circumstance on the death, the burial of Jesus that was not done to other people? Or it was just a normal way of, of burying people. Apart from the great being healed, was there anything special that was done to Jesus? Well, um, of course there is, there is something that is uh, special about him. Number one, that his body is requested mm -hmm. by these two uh, men mm -hmm. to go and bury him. And uh, actually the women, um, they, they help in the burning, but on the next day, because it was a, uh, some Jews had a custom mm -hmm. of uh, preserving the body for a longer time. Mm -hmm. So they would bring a uh, sweet smelling perfume mm -hmm. and, and place it uh, uh, next to where the person is laid. Mm -hmm. Because actually the tombs were, some tombs were family tombs. So they would not see mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. So mtu anawekwa hapo, we mungine siku yako kifiko, kifiko anawekwa pandehi ingine. Yeah. So the women, uh, they are visible, uh, very visible. Especially in the morning, mm -hmm. yeah, when they come now to, to, to put those uh, spices, mm -hmm. smelling spices, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So he is buried, he's embalmed. Just probably, uh, the people who had the theory that uh, uh, some people, Jesus did not really die, so they might have taken his body away, taken somewhere to recover. That embalming process, what what did it entail? Entail. Mm. Well, uh, in, the, in those uh, areas, um, back in those ages, people would know different uh, communities and cultures would have different ways of uh, embalming people. Mm -hmm. You remember when Lazarus dies and now uh, mm -hmm. after um, who embalmed a cup, fungwa, mm -hmm. na a cloth, white, white, uh, white uh, mm -hmm. uh, linen cloth, mm -hmm. and you see, una fungwa kote. Mm -hmm. And so you can't breathe. Yeah, you can't breathe. Yeah, of course, the dead breathe. don't breathe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the dead don't breathe. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then, the, the special thing about uh, Christ dying is that now, uh, his grave. Mm. You know, the, still the Sanhedrin, they go to, um, uh, to the authorities and say, now you have to seal it mm. with your uh, nini, muhuri, mm. so that nobody can touch that. And place some soldiers there. Mm. Because... Oh, yeah. They, 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 they knew prophecy. Mm -hmm. And they knew that uh, prophecy says that on the third day mm -hmm. he will resurrect. But now because they are too engrossed in their own head of cocoon, mm -hmm. they don't want to Powers accept whatever well. thing that probably would happen mm -hmm. or look at it prophetically as God's instrument mm -hmm. of guiding mm -hmm. history. Mm -hmm. They do not take it as that. So they want to protect their own mm -hmm. uh, circumstances. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. as in women. <laughs> and, and of course, definitely scripture tells us uh, what happens. And they also want to prove that this, this guy is not the Messiah. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So they are fighting with that because I remember they asked him, are you, are, are you the Messiah? Yes. And then when he answers, he said, we don't need any other any other evidence. This guy has blasphemed the, mm -hmm. uh, our religion. And so they, they want kind of proof that for sure yeah. this is not a messiah. Yeah. That's why they are putting the guys there. Yeah. So to let people know, oh, you see the guy you have been following and uh, talking about, he's still here. Mm -hmm. Would you come and see? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Great. Mm -hmm. and, and then, so what happens? So after he is um, taken in and, and uh, he's put in the tomb, because soldiers are put there to guard so that the disciples don't come and steal mm -hmm. the body. Mm -hmm. And uh, the story is very interesting because you know, uh, an angel comes and you know, he moves the stone. Mm -hmm. And, and this, these soldiers are so terrified. Mm -hmm. But after escaping there, they are brave. And they are told, you go and say that the disciples came and they overpowered us and they took the body. Mm -hmm. Now, just at that point, yes. what kind of punishment was given? Because they say, tell them that you are asleep and, or something <coughs> of that nature. Yeah. What kind of punishment would be meted out on someone mm -hmm. as a Roman soldier who was asleep on duty or when you're on duty something happened that you're supposed to have prevented? Mm -hmm. What kind of punishment would these soldiers have been given? 
that will be punishment by death. Uh -huh. Yes. Because the, the, the muhuri, the stamp of the mm -hmm. ruler mm -hmm. is placed there. So you did not you did not protect the interests of Rome. Of the Emperor. Yeah. So you are as good mm -hmm. as yeah. these people mm -hmm. that are trying to disturb us. Mm -hmm. So the punishment will be there. So so this this soldier, if whether whether he's brave or not, yeah. he's also protecting his uh, his his own job. Yes. He's also trying to keep his job knowing that if uh, this body is stolen and uh, it, it is it is gone, mm -hmm. and then somebody comes and finds that the, the, it's gone, then I'm also in trouble. Mm -hmm. I'm also going to die. Mm -hmm. So he's also protecting his job. Mm -hmm. oh. In fact, uh, of course, they, they told the, the high priest what happened. Mm -hmm. Now the high priest said, no, mm -hmm. you change the story, say this. All right. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, know, we, we can tell what has happened, but, but. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. it's a form of corruption. It is. So, right. so the high priest negotiated with them to ensure that you will not die. Yes. And you will not lose your job. Mm. Yes. It scratch my back, I scratch yours. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Because if the high priest, if it came out clearly that this guy resurrected, mm. then the high priest themselves, are, uh, the high priest himself is also in trouble. Yes, he's in trouble. Mm. He's in trouble. Uh, you kill a man who was not supposed to be killed. Yes. And, and, and you know what the Romans mm. could have done to him. Yeah. Probably the same. <laughs> same right. thing. All right. Yes. Yeah, if, if possibly they would have put him on the cross yeah. as well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. So uh, t t take us through the, that process of resurrection. So um, normally people ask, um, I'm just going maybe to mention that one, um, but people normally ask, so Jesus died, and so what happened? Mm -hmm. Well, there also is it Peter Paul that tells us that when he resurrected, he left a throng of prisoners mm -hmm. from Sheol. Mm -hmm. And who are, who, are these actually, who are these prisoners? Well, um, the, the death of Christ must not be understood as just somebody died. Mm -hmm. Because it was, you see, when in the Garden of Eden, when man had uh, disobeyed God mm -hmm. and he had proved himself to be uh, unrighteous mm -hmm. and, and, and sinful, mm -hmm. then the righteousness of God and his justice could not accept for man to be with God again. Mm -hmm. So when man died, mm -hmm. he still died in sin. Mm -hmm. Because man could not atone for his own sin. Mm -hmm. So he died in sin. Mm -hmm. um, anybody, talk about Enoch, talk about Abraham, mm -hmm. talk about Sarah, talk mm -hmm. about Joseph. Mm -hmm. All these people, Moses, they died in sin. Mm -hmm. The sin was not atoned for. Mm -hmm. And so um, they had to wait. Mm -hmm in anticipation mm -hmm. to the salvation of Christ. Mm -hmm. Because salvation that Jesus provides through mm -hmm. his death, mm -hmm. because he dies for our sin, so that we can receive forgiveness mm -hmm. from God. Mm -hmm. So he takes our place. He becomes the sin now. Mm -hmm. And so that is why he's struck on the cross. That is why he dies. Mm -hmm. Because the soul that sins shall die. die. So he takes our place and dies. But because he is, you know, um, if you read Colossians uh, mm -hmm. chapter two, mm -hmm. it tells you, you know, about him. Mm -hmm. So if you look, if you look, if you look at, at the price that he pays for us, mm -hmm. he takes our sins from us, mm -hmm. and he resurrects mm -hmm. to lead us, you know, to the place that he has prepared for us. Mm -hmm. So that means that uh, the salvation that Jesus works, salvation works. Actually, the cross works forward and backward. Mm -hmm. So the sins of those that died, mm -hmm. having anticipated mm -hmm. in hope, mm -hmm. is atoned for by Christ. Mm -hmm. And so they receive eternal rest mm -hmm. because of this crucifixion. Mm -hmm. Even those that died 2,000 years mm -hmm. before Christ. Mm -hmm. Because uh, Revelation, John says that, Behold, the Lamb of God mm -hmm. who was slain before the foundations of the world. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it is a mystery. Mm -hmm. Because his slave, mm -hmm. we see it is Herod, but but uh, John is saying and uh, telling us in Revelation that he was slain before the foundations mm -hmm. of the world. Mm -hmm. That means that the mystery of his death goes and covers mm -hmm. the sin mm -hmm. of them that you know who are waiting in anticipation, Huko. Mm -hmm. and it still works for us today, and salvation is still open for them mm -hmm. that will be born tomorrow mm -hmm. and the next day mm -hmm. to come to. So that is the mystery of it. Mm -hmm. So um, 
I, I, I believe that the people that you know he walks out with and the people that he walks out mm -hmm. with, people who died mm -hmm. in anticipation mm -hmm. of a savior to come and deliver them. Mm -hmm. Not those who died in sin. Not those who died in sin. Yeah, because it's very clear. You mm -hmm. see, sometimes we confuse when we get confused when Peter tells us mm -hmm. that he went and uh, he, he preached. Yes. He, he, he went and preached to the to, to, to those who died at the time of uh, a time time of uh, of of, of uh, Noah. Yeah. And uh, so it doesn't mean that those who died in the sin can uh, can also redeem. I think it's very important to clear here. Mm -hmm. Did Jesus come to? Did, would Jesus? Let's say somebody dies today in sin. Uh, do we have a chance of that person being redeemed? Does the blood of Jesus cover those who are already dead and they died in sin? It's no, a very important. Those that died in sin, they are not covered by this blood. Because if you look at Abraham, the Bible tells us that he was looking forward to a city not built by human hands. Mm -hmm. So he was he was waiting in anticipation mm -hmm. of a coming Messiah, mm -hmm. of a Savior that is coming. Mm -hmm. So he he died knowing that there is something that is not complete, mm -hmm. but that will be completed. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. Yes. Yeah. The same thing that talks about Jacob when he, he worshipped on his staff, when he saw yes. the glory that is to come. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And of course, Jesus, you know, um, uh, you know, Scripture tells us, you know, um, that, that, that you know, there, there are many that uh, would have wished mm -hmm. when Jesus is telling the disciples, to see what they see mm. and hear what they hear. Mm -hmm. These are people. These these are heroes mentioned in uh, in, 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 Hebrews. in Hebrews eleven. Yeah. These are heroes of faith. Mm. People. Some of them are not even you know indicated there, but people who died in anticipation, mm. waiting for a salvation that knowing that God indeed is able mm -hmm. to work salvation for them even when they are dead. Mm -hmm. But as for now, you know that is why we preach. Mm -hmm. Believe in Christ. Mm. Because, you know, uh, there is death now. And after death, there is judgment. Mm. So we preach to you to receive Christ today. Mm -hmm. Not in the grave. Mm. Mm -hmm. Because even those who died, like Abraham, mm -hmm. they died in faith. Mm -hmm. Yes. They had faith that God is going to do something about their situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is not that they died and they just said, ah, Yes. So, 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 what exactly does the dead and resurrection mean to us as Christians? Well, the, the resurrection of Christ is, is, is very interesting because it brings about a very unique, very pecu peculiar uh, situation. Mm -hmm. Because it is the women who go to the tomb mm -hmm. and find it open. Oh. Yeah. Um, Luke tells us about Mary, Mary Magdalene mm -hmm. and um, Joanna. Mm -hmm. Joanna was the wife of uh, Chusa. Chusa was uh, Herod Steward. Herod Steward. Mm -hmm. Yes. And Mark tells us about Salome mm -hmm. also being part of mm -hmm. uh, this team. And, and it is interesting because um, women had a very low position mm -hmm. in, the, in the Jewish mm -hmm. uh, culture. Mm -hmm. It was particularly Patriarchal. Mm. So women were like second class citizens. Mm. Yeah. Uh, that it was very difficult to believe the word of a woman. Mm -hmm. In fact, they were not even allowed to testify. In a court of in a court, in the court. They were not allowed to testify. Because they were seen as uh, their word is not strong or sure enough. Mm. It, it is a, it's like probably they can't say the truth. Was it? Could that be also the reason why when the woman saw Peter and said this man was with him, that they didn't pay attention to her because a woman's word is not believed. Yes, because I mean, mm -hmm. uh, how are you going to bring up that woman to testify? Mm -hmm. You who is bringing her, you will be in trouble. <laughs> Since when do we believe in the word of women? <laughs> you see, that, that is like the situation around. <laughs> but now these three women, mm -hmm. uh, these women that go, get to the temple, the interesting thing about it <clears throat> is that, and, and God orchestrated this from way before. They are the first evangelists. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because the word of an evangelist yeah. is to declare hope. He is risen. Mm. So they went and, and, and do the He is called the Lamb of God. Mm -hmm. And his death comes during the Passover. Where you remember in Egypt, a lamb was slain 
-hmm. and the blood was put on the doorposts, mm -hmm. so that when the angel of death comes, mm -hmm. he would pass over, mm -hmm. knowing that death has already been in this house. Mm -hmm. So the angel of death would pass over, only mm -hmm. seeing the blood, mm -hmm. all the wood. Mm -hmm. So uh, on this particular you know, um, Passover, mm -hmm. it is not just that normal lamb that is slain, it is the lamb of God that is slain, so that death would pass over. Mm -hmm. That is why we claim the blood of Jesus. Because when death comes, and it's not just the normal death that people are dying out of Corona and this other thing, it is, it is, it is, it is death which is uh, to be separate and far from God. Mm -hmm. Hell. Mm -hmm. Yes. So when I claim the blood of Christ, does it mean that there are two that there are different types of death? Yes. Oh, could you kindly let us know? Um, scripture tells us that uh, it is appointed for man to die. Mm -hmm. So death is sure. That one will come. Mm -hmm. So after death, judgment. And we are judged uh, not only on the basis of our work, but on the basis of our faith mm -hmm. in this Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So that, 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 that is what we hold on to. And so anybody that is found without Christ, then is appointed to eternal death. That is the lake of fire. So that with, with the Christ here, that is where you're talking about now the Passover. Yes. The, 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 the blood of Jesus where the, now the angel yes. uh, will pass over. Mm -hmm. That means there is a relationship between the time Jesus died yes. and the, 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 the salvation that Jews were given or or his rights were given in Egypt. Yes. Could you kindly let us uh... now? Now, at, at this point, then, then you get to realize if you looked at at, at uh, uh, Egypt, mm. when they, they had slaughtered and put the blood on the post of the doors, mm -hmm. and the angel of death came and passed over, that was their salvation. Because now, at that point, they were delivered and they crossed the river Jordan mm. to the other side. Now, God here is bringing a deeper aspect. Not just salvation from slavery, mm -hmm. from the physical bondage, mm -hmm. and from physical pain. Mm -hmm. He is offering them salvation from sin. He is offering them to cross from sin into righteousness. And righteousness by him and through him. So God has given an offer. Because at that point you realize that when he is crucified, the curtains are torn. They tear. The curtain that, you know... Um, covered the Holy of Holies. It is torn. And whatever is inside there will see. As an emblem or as, as, as a show that, you know, uh, God has now tabernacled with men. He's not in the temple. He is Emmanuel prophesying. God with us. Yes. Now, uh, this whole story of the crucifixion and the season that we have, how in, in the context of where we are today, in this season that we find ourselves, how does that relate with where we find ourselves today? In this, probably this season we can say of, of the pandemic that is global, a situation that we find ourselves in, how does it relate to us in this point in time where we live? Because it was an event that happened. 2,000 years ago, mm. but we are now 2,000 years later. How does that apply to our lives now? today? Mm. When we are living in very unique times, uh, indeed interesting days, where most of the world is, is shut out. Mm -hmm. uh, people are in their homes. Um, people are scared. And the interesting thing is that we are scared of something we cannot see. Mm -hmm. Because with the naked eye, you cannot see the virus. Sure. We don't know who has it, who doesn't have it. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, you are told, and, and we are very much told by the government that this is something that is deadly. Deadly meaning, had higher chances it is leading to death. Mm -hmm. But there is something that is more deadly than this virus. Mm -hmm. And that is what Christ has come to deliver us from. And that is the power of sin. Mm -hmm. That is the power of sin. And so him being the Lamb of God, that, you know, 100% takes away our sins, as John described him that day. 
He is still today the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. That I can look at his death and know that he has died for me and for my sin. And he has taken my place. And my hope is not lost. Mm -hmm. Because he resurrected. And now I have a living hope. Mm -hmm. You see, if he just died and, and that was it, like people who have, many people have died. Legends mm -hmm. have died. Mm -hmm. If he just died, then I would, have, have, I, would, I would still have hope, but it is a dead hope. Mm -hmm. But now I have a living hope. Mm -hmm. Because I can point to him mm -hmm. that he has died for me, and there he is. Mm -hmm. He is risen. Mm -hmm. And scriptures testify, he is seated at the right hand of the Father. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, in, in days such as this, it is important to know that we are, yes, we are, we, we are, we are trying to be safe, mm -hmm. but we are not living in fear. Sure. Yes. Because we have been delivered from the spirit of fear, from the bondage that fear brings. We are no longer under the instrument and the power and the, you know, uh, we are not under fear anymore. Mm -hmm. We are under the grace of God. Mm -hmm. So we are not living as unwise. We are living as people that are wise. Mm -hmm. We are protecting ourselves. Um, I, I had my, and I still have my, uh, what do you call it? Um, my mask. My mask. Mm. Here. Kita, kita mvua, yeah? kita mvua. Mm. I have my kita, mm. ma mask in here. <laughs> and of course, Andrew has his and, and I do have mine, yes. Yeah. But that has taught me that yeah. we are living under fear. Mm. We are not living at all in the fear. And there are people that I know who are wondering what next? Should. What next? Now, now that we are going through this, probably, um, what about my, my work, my job? What about? My family, my business, my business. What about tomorrow? My children's schooling. My children's schooling. What is going to happen? Is there, is and there even an And we have people who are uh, having relatives who are abroad. Yes. They can't come in. Yes. yes. And, 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 and there are others who have been uh, affected. They are positive. They have been found positive. The coronavirus, and they're asking, what is it? Am I going to live? Am I going to die? But let me tell you, I love what the Apostle Paul says, that whether we live or die, mm -hmm. We do it for him. Mm -hmm. And he has confidence, as he says, that, uh, you know, um, I am alive, and I'm happy to be alive. I'm just paraphrasing his words. But it is better for me to die. Mm -hmm. Because in my death, then I have life with Christ. Mm -hmm. Because that is an assurance. And that is what we need today. A reminder of the assurance we have, mm -hmm. of, the, of the viability of the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And the power of it mm -hmm. still being available to us today. And you can tap into that power. You can tap into that anointing. You can tap, you can tap into his death and his resurrection. Mm -hmm. Even today, mm -hmm. he has opened that grace to us. Right? Thanks a lot. Uh, I don't know whether, Andrew, you have anything else to say? No. Um, I, 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 it's an interesting conversation with you today about uh, the details that you can find in, in, in those last three days of, of, of Jesus' life, the, 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 the Thursday, Friday, and also the, the, the Sunday when he resurrected. And the way he sparked with a lot of information. And uh, I, I thank God for this opportunity to be able to just sit down and discuss that and expound more on that. Um, it, it's been a good thing. It's been a wonderful experience. Thank you. Maybe I can ask a question to our audience and to us, because it is good to ponder. Mm -hmm. And I've, I've always been asked this question, uh, Pastor, and it has to do with the resurrection, mm -hmm. and especially people that are adamant and that they have say. And of course, you know, they don't find anything else, else to hold, and so mm -hmm. they ask, mm -hmm. uh, did Jesus resurrect after three days? Because if you come Friday, mm -hmm. after three days, where would you get? Or after two days. Yes. Yeah, because there's, uh, there's the Friday, there is the Saturday, and, and, uh, and, 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 and Sunday. And Sunday. Yes. And uh, I, I, think, I, think, I think the Apostles' Creed makes it clear. Uh, that, that's my thinking. When he say on the third day he rose again. Mm -hmm. I think the Apostles' Creed makes it clear. But, but that, that, is, that, that, is, that is actually a very, very interesting uh, mm -hmm. question. Because uh, the way you're saying, Friday he's dead. So a day... Uh, after he is dead, Saturday evening. That is one. 
Sen de iyi günün üstü. <laughs> Monday evening history. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> if you read uh, the original text mm. in Greek, mm. Greek is very interesting because mm. you know uh, languages are very different, mm. Mm. And, and there's a way you put something mm. in, in your language. I don't know if you've ever put something in your language that you are wondering how do I translate it in English? Yeah, yeah. there's a lot of it. Yeah, it a lot of it. Becomes difficult. Mm. But in the Greek, mm. uh, the way the Greeks write, there's a way they write a day. So they can write a day uh, in, the, in the nominative, mm. in the accusative. Mm. So um, the day when it is written um, in a particular way, it means either on or mm. after mm. or within. Mm. within. Mm. So uh, the way it is translated in Greek is on the third day. Mm. Yes. Oh, the way we, the it Apostles' Creed now says. Now the way it is, it is translated in the Apostles' Creed. Because I, I hear people you know, wondering, is it, is it now, is it third day, ni Monday? Uh -huh. uh, Sunday you know, that kind of <laughs> Yeah, and some people think that Jesus resurrected on Monday. Yeah. I think it's also good to clear that with you so that we can know whether is it Sunday or is it Monday that he is resurrected? The resurrection is on Sunday. Sunday. And that is why we worship on Sunday. Yeah. We do not worship after the the the, 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 the Judaistic uh, Sabbath, which is Saturday. Mm. We worship on Sunday. Why? Because Christ Mm. Our hope mm. resurrected on the Sunday. Oh, it's the Lord's day. Yes, oh. it is the day of the Lord. Oh, fantastic! Mm. So on the third day he rose again. On yes. the third day from when he died. Yes. yes. So Friday he has spent the night in his bed. Mm. Saturday he is mm. dead. Yes. On Sunday. The third day. The third day. That is the yes. third day. Yes. He arose. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yes. Ah, so it is not after three days. Uh -huh. <laughs> I want us to conclude this because of the interest of time. Maybe Mchungani, there's something you'd like to say before I ask you to pray. We just want to say uh, thank you very much to uh, our friends and our viewers of Mark at Home for uh, joining us and being with us. It's, it's a great privilege to have you uh, together with us. And I'm hoping that this uh, season of Easter brings you uh, a new joy. It brings you a new uh, peace in your heart. In the midst of all these things that are happening, in the midst of our face masks, in the midst of uh, the, the, the sanitizers, in the midst of you know being you know staying at home, uh, in all these things, my prayer is that you find peace. And this peace can only be found in Christ and in Christ alone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Andrew, uh, for attending this. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mchungaji. I think it's been a great moment. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've uh, not only learned something, yeah. but we have also understood what it means uh, to have this period of Easter. I'm going to ask Mchungaji to conclude with a word of prayer so that uh, we can meet again mm -hmm. next time. Mchungaji. Thank you. thank you very much. Shall we pray? Oh God, our Father, the unveiling of your word brings light. And in your light we see light. Indeed, your word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. We thank you that, Lord, indeed, we can have such a wonderful fellowship with our friends and family and uh, our members back at home, people who love you, people who are going through a lot of difficult uh, issues and situations right now, but they are holding firm to our faith that is founded in you. We want to thank you as we remember this Holy Week and this Friday that we call Good Friday. Good because it is the Friday that took our sins away from us. Where the Lamb of God was crucified, when he was killed, so that in his death we may have life and life eternal. Thank you for this Good Friday that is good to us. And even as we uh, one wonderfully thanking you for this wonderful Sunday, a glorious resurrection, where we proclaim and declare that he is risen, and he is risen indeed. Mm. Praise God, he is risen. Mm. We give you thanks, and we honor you. And we pray the Lord, you will also resurrect in our hearts. That this resurrection is going to uh, impact us in a positive way, O Lord. So that the gifts and the ministries that were once dead in us, O Lord, will be resurrected again. That they will see the light of day. And it will bring hope to families, bring hope to individuals, bring hope to 
uh, uh, businesses and workplaces, bring hope to nations, O oh Lord. We pray that them that have been affected adversely, Lord, indeed, you will comfort them with your great consolation. And more so with the consolation that speaks to us that indeed he is risen and he is risen. We pray, O oh Lord, that you continue to minister to us. Manifest yourself. May we see you, Lord, in a way that is unique and new, in a way that is powerful, O oh Lord. We pray for our government. We pray for families back at home and even the businesses and workplaces. It is you who does a new thing, O oh Lord, that even when our eyes cannot see or perceive, yet indeed you are still at work. We praise you and we exalt you. Through Christ Jesus our Lord, we pray. Amen. 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 So back there at home, you can join us as we share the words of grace together mm -hmm. because we are excited to be part of you uh, in, your, in your seats back at home together with your families. So, will you just join us as we share the words of grace? We are not holding hands, but we are holding hearts. <laughs> now, the grace of our Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, and, and the love of God, God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and, and forevermore. Amen. Yes. yes. Once again, thank you, Mutungaji, and thank you, our technical crew, Mr. Mwema, and uh, may God bless you all. Thank you very much.